Super Tuesday. Thank you, and congratulations, Angela, in your new position. You're so sweet. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right, so a lot of voters out there want to know what's going to happen today, what are your predictions, and why you've decided to stay in the race. Well, I decided to stay in the race because we have millions of social media followers, and they're saying, please do not take the choice away from us. And they continue to support me financially and in every other way. And I think they have a right to be heard. Sure. Also, also bear in mind that people have asked for somebody who was not a politician, who is a member of We the People, who has an outstanding life of achievement, uh, and who thinks the way that they do. Sure. Absolutely. And, and Dr. Ben Carson, when, when you look at the polls, people go, well, he's only a, a, a certain number of uh, percentage points. And, and the political operatives and the pundits on TV, they say, you know, Ben Carson needs to drop out so those people can go help Marco Rubio or Ted Cruz or go help somebody else. But you're not going to do that, are you? Well, you know, what the pundits say is very typical of the manipulative class. They think they have complete control. And to some degree they do, uh, but at some point the people will wake up. The question is, when is that going to happen? You know, it's sort of like you've got everything right. that you want right in front of you, but you don't recognize it until it's too late. So, Dr. Carson, last week you were on with us. You were kind enough to do that throughout this process. We appreciate your loyalty to the show. And we asked you this very question, and we put the dials to your answer. And I think you're going to be uh, pleased to see the results. Let's listen to watch. Do you feel pressure from the establishment to push out, to emerge with one person to go against Donald Trump? Well, I know there are some people who are saying that, but, you know, there, there's a reason that we have a process like this. Yep. Uh, and, and if, we, if we're going to call it after three or four uh, primaries and caucuses, why don't we just change the system and we'll say we're just going to do it uh, for three or four states and, and that'll be it. doesn't make any sense, really. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of information that still needs to come out. And the nice thing is now that the numbers are down to a smaller uh, size, maybe it's just possible that we might actually start talking about the real issues and the real solutions to the problems of America that, because they are very, very substantial. Dr. Garson, the more you talk, the more you explain yourself, the higher the lines went with independents and Republicans. Your reaction? Uh, my reaction is that, you know, bef before the barrage of uh, attacks on me occurred. I was beating Trump head to head, beating yeah. Hillary head to head, and there are those who didn't like that very much. But, and the people are the only ones who can rectify the situation. Sure, and last time you reminded us of the tortoise and the hare. Dr. Ben Carson, good luck to you today, sir. Thank you very much for joining us out on the campaign trail. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Carson. Uh, there were 17, now there's just six. That is a tremendous count.